Welcome back, Unity folks. It's James back with another Unity 2D platform gaming tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with number 15. We're going to go ahead and pause our game. Okay, we're not going to build in any menus or anything for the pause just yet. We're just going to stop the game. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our enemy here. We're going to move him over just to make sure that when we pause the game, he stops moving. We're just going to use this as a check as well as making the player jump. He should freeze in midair like one of those horribly bad TV shows. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started with this script. Okay. Now this is a script I've created called Pause Game. And it's located in our scripts folder right here. Pause Game. Okay. So in this code we're going to do a couple of things. First we're going to declare a variable called TS. And then it's to store a float and that is time.timescale. Okay, now time.timescale, if we highlight this and hit control apostrophe, it will power up the Unity script reference for us and it tells us <clears throat> the scale at which the time is passing. This be can be used for slow motion effects. Okay, so basically what we're doing, it's, it's like it says here, when time scale is set to zero, the game is basically paused if all of your functions are frame rate independent. Okay, so what we're gonna do inside this script, because some of them are frame frame rate independent and some of them are not. Okay, instead of setting it direct directly to zero, we're actually gonna set time scale to an extremely low number, okay? To a very, very low, low number. Okay. Let me see here. Seven zeros and seven zeros, yeah, okay or eight zeros. <clears throat> anyway, so let's walk through this script and what it does. First thing we do is we have the time.timescale. We've created variable so that in the function start right down here, we can store the game's normal time scale. Okay? The next part is a variable called paused, which is a boolean, and this is to tell us whether the game is paused or unpaused. Okay? So in function start, we grab the time scale. And then down here in function update, what we do is we check if the player has put push down, or I'm sorry, push down and let go of the, the P key on the keyboard. So get key up is when you push, okay, so when you push a key down on your keyboard, you're going down, you're holding it, and then when you release, that's the up, okay, that's the up part. So when the person lets go of the P key, if the game is not paused yet, we want to go ahead and pause the game. If the game is paused, then we want to go ahead and um, unpause the game. So pause becomes false. The game is no longer paused. Okay. So down here in this section, we say if the game is paused and if the time scale is not set to our extremely low number. Actually, what we can do is just go ahead and set that to zero. We'll just set it to zero anyway, just to demonstrate. What we want to do is set it to zero. Okay, actually we need we don't need this else here. Okay, so if the game is paused, we want to change the time scale so that time stops and our player basically stops moving. Now if the game unpauses, this is where the else comes in. This means that the game is no longer paused. What we want to do is say if the time.timescale is less than TS, then we want to do something, okay? So this is checking if the time.timescale is less than the original time scale, which we stored up here in start, we need to reset it back to that amount. So we say time.timescale equals TS. Okay, so what we're basically doing is we're saying, okay, the game is running, the game is running, the player presses P. Is the game paused? No, it's not. Okay, we want to pause the game. And then it will skip the rest of this and come down here and say, is the game paused? Oh, yes, it is because we pressed the P key. So we're going to go ahead and stop time, which will stop our player from moving. So if our time scale is not stopped, we're going to go ahead and stop it. So then the game keeps going 
and it's paused, and then the player presses P after his long bathroom break to unpause the game. And then it comes through and says, oh, the player pressed P. He must want to pause or unpause the game. Is the game already paused? Well, yes, it is. It is paused. Okay. Well, we want to go ahead and shut that off and let the player go back to playing the game. And then it's going to come down here. And it's going to say, oh, the game's not paused anymore. So what do we do instead? That's what else means. We're going to do this instead of what's up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the game's unpaused. We need to go ahead and reset time scale back to normal time so the player can keep playing the game. That's what this script does, okay? So if we go back into Unity here and we let it compile and everything's fine. I believe my main camera has the pause game script on it right here. Okay, you'll see these two variables, time scale and paused. When we start the game, time scale should be set to 1 automatically and pause should be check unchecked. And you, okay, so let's go ahead and start the game here. I got my background music bumping. And I'm moving my player. We're swinging. Okay, so if I jump and then press P, the game pauses. But you'll see that this guy, he keeps going. Okay, and that's because his update, the goblin, Goblin Squishy Box, and the Goblin Guy, who has a platform mover on him, so we can open the platform mover script. Let's find out where that is. It's right here. Okay. So in platform mover, in order to make this so that it does pause, we're just going to go ahead and switch this from function update to function fixed update. And that occurs on frame rate dependency. Okay, so now if we go back into the game, and we press play, and I move my guy around, and I jump, and I press P, you'll notice that he stops. Okay, now you probably can't hear it, but in the background, my, uh, my background music is still running. Okay, so on my main camera object, in video 14, we attached the background music. Okay, so in our pause script, we can access that. Okay, well, uh, this is platform mover. Sorry, here we go. Pause game. Okay, if the pause game, if the game is paused, and we set that, we also want to set the audio to pause. Okay. All right. And if we're setting it unpausing the game, we want to go ahead and put it back. All right. So this will pause our, our background music. And this will resume it. Actually, I'm not sure if it's play or if it's dot resume. Let me check that real quick. Hang on. Dot. No, there's no resume, so it must be play. Okay, so let's try this out. See how that works. And the music's paused. And the music unpauses. Right where it left off. And I can't move my player. Well, actually, I can I can fidget him back and forth, but he doesn't move at all. Okay? So that's what we're doing there. Now, you'll notice that he can wiggle back and forth. Oops. Where did Unity go? There it is. So on our first-person controller, we have a script called Texture Flip. If we go into that script, we'll probably also notice that it has an update rather than fixed update. So if we change that one, and save it as well, and then go back into Unity and press play. Now when I jump and pause the game, he can't move. You'll see his little leg twitching because the animation is still trying to play. But that's basically how you pause things, okay? It's just by setting time scale equal to zero. Alright, now we're going to do something super fun here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some if statements to add a really sweet effect to the time scale, okay? What I'm gonna say is if the time scale is greater than zero, what I wanna do is I wanna divide by 10. Actually, I wanna, oh, I'm sorry, subtract zero point, oh, sorry. negative equals, there we go, negative equals 0 0.001, okay? 
So what's going to happen when you pause the game is that it's going to come in here, it's going to check the time scale. Okay, the player hasn't paused the game yet. Let's go ahead and subtract 0 0.001 from the time scale. Now, time scale starts out at 1. So it's going to take a while to get to this point. So let's just go ahead and reset that to 0 0.1, or 0 0.01, sorry. So what this is going to do is it's going to pause the music, and then the player is going to come slowly to a stop. Okay? So in our time scale, when we want to go back up, what we're going to say is plus equals 0 0.01. And this will make time speed back up slowly. Okay? So it's a nice little transition effect from pause to unpause. So let's go ahead and play our game. I'm going to jump and then press P. And you see how, well, actually, the player's physics body is kind of messed up. So just watch the enemy here. And you'll notice when I press P, he slowly comes to a stop. Okay? Now, it looks kind of awkward with our music just automatically stopping while the player has to slow down. So what we're going to actually do here is we're going to cut out this audio part, the pause, and we're going to make a new statement for the audio to slow down as well. So this is like slow motion for your music. Okay, so we're going to say if audio.pitch is greater than zero, what we're going to do is we're going to say audio.pitch minus equals 0 0.1. Okay? Actually, let's subtract it by the same amount. Okay? But if we reach zero, we want to go ahead and pause the music. Otherwise, it'll keep playing. You just won't be able to hear it. So we're going to say else audio equals, or I'm sorry, yeah, audio dot pause. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing down here in the speed back up part. Now, if you don't have audio in your game, you don't really need to worry about this stuff. It's just a really nice added effect. Audio pitch is less than one. I think most recently, actually, uh, there was a game that used this. I think it was like Metro, uh, the second, ver the, the second, the sequel to the first Metro. So I think it's like Metro Last Night or First Night or Last Light or whatever it is. It uh, it used this feature where when you press the pause button. If the enemy, or I'm sorry, if your friendly guys or whatever were talking to you, it would just slow down. Yeah, it was really cool. It was funny. It was actually a really nice effect. Um, it's a subtle little detail that makes gaming awesome. Um, so if the audio pitch is less than one, we want to go ahead and add 0 0.01 back to the audio pitch. And then, of course, else... We want to go ahead and um, actually what we want to do while we're adding the audio back is we want to first go ahead and just make it play. So we're going to say if audio dot is playing, or sorry, not, if the audio is not playing yet, as in it's paused, we want to go ahead and play it. So audio dot play. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to come in and say, okay, the player has unpaused the game. Let's go ahead and start increasing that time scale back up. And then we're also going to check the audio. Oh, the audio pitch is lower than one. Is the audio playing yet? Well, no, it isn't. So let's play it, and then you'll be able to hear the sound slowly get back up to speed. It's like watching a slow motion video go from full speed to slow, and then speed back up. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into Unity, make sure that this compiles, and it does. We can save our scene, and we're going to go ahead and press play. And when I jump, uh, let me go ahead and turn my volume up so you guys can at least try and hear that. Let me make sure that my audio source is turned up on the volume. Let's go ahead and set that up. I guess you can't go any higher than one, so hopefully you guys can hear that. Um, let's go ahead and play this. And if I jump and press P, the pitch slows way down. If I unpause, you can see the enemy slowly speeds back up to full speed. 
You see how my player slowly came to a halt there? And then if I unpause the game, you'll see him slowly come back. See, and that's a nice little effect. It's something cool you can do with the pause. So you just jump. And then we unpause. And we repause. Because it's fun to play with slow motion. Okay, that's just an added feature you can put in your game that's really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and post this script for you guys to copy and use, as always. If there's some other part of the 2D gaming series you want, you can go ahead and send those to me, and I'll add them in as uh, special requests or add them to the series themselves. Thanks.